Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Tamlore Akinkolie and these are the stories of following at the moment. The Nigerian Air Force says it has neutralized several Boko Haram and Islamic states of the West African province terrorists in airstrikes and the finage of Lake Chad in Bono State. The Director of Public Relations and Information NAF Air Commodore Edward Gapquet said the airstrikes obliterated the terrorists eyed out and destroyed their structures and strategic logistic base in the region. The Director General Niger State Emergency Management Agency, Sally Ugaba, says no fewer than 22 passengers on, a boat, on board a boat from Kasabu village in Aguara local government area of Niger State to Yari Kebu State have capsized. According to Gaba, such a rescue operations are currently all going with, by the local divers and boat owners under the supervision of the agency DEX officer in Aguara State. The Chicago State University CSU has released the academic records of President Bola Amir Tinubu in compliance with the order of the District Court of Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division. On Saturday, the court had ordered the CSU to release the academic records of Tinubu to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, Tinubu's main challenger in the 2023 general elections. The International Monetary Fund says Nigeria and other emerging economies will need about $2 trillion annually by 2030 to achieve the transition to net zero emission by 2050. According to the global lender, achieving the transition to net zero emissions by 2050 requires substantial climate mitigation investment in emerging markets and developing economies, which currently emit around two-thirds of the greenhouses. The Federal High Court Abuja Judicial Division will in October air the, the 30 billion naira suit lodged by the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria against Metal Platforms Incorporated, who are owners of the Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp platforms. According to the Director General of Arcon, Olali Konfadolako, Arcon is seeking a declaration, among others, that the continued publication and exposure of various advertisements directed at the Nigerian market. And the Defence Ministry has announced a three-day period of national money on Monday night after 29 soldiers were murdered in an ambush on Western EJ by suspected terrorists. In a televised statement, the ministry said the soldiers were targeted using improvised explosive devices and chemical vehicles by more than 100 terrorists. According to the Defence Ministry, the attack took place near the country's border with Mali during military operations aimed at neutralizing the threat posed by Islamic State in the area. And in sports, Philippe Oroma of the IBB International Golf and Country Club Abuja has emerged the overall winner of the 63rd Nigerian Independence Anniversary Golf event. The 63rd Nigerian Independence Golf Tournament, which started last Monday, climaxed on Sunday night with the announcement of the winner of different categories. The handicapped 14 amateur golf player played 80 gross with a net of 68 to outplay over 500 other players to win the coveted trophy. And that's all on the news from at the moment. Join us at the top of the half for more stories. Bye for now.